people of different religions, the people who are not religious, and we've got another 60 seconds for this speaker representing Western Sydney, Auburn, the Muslim communities also very hard hit. Get a big cheer for all of our friends in Western Sydney and the Muslim communities. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, great people of New South Wales. Australians ha have done have done it. We are rising from ashes to let all corrupt politicians, media, establishment and the deep state know that we will not submit. We will not submit to the agenda of the financially great reset. We will not allow them to destroy our liberties, our freedom and our dignity. Gladys has our chant and all the corrupt politicians thought that our resistance was crushed. Your presence here today, despite all obstacles, media lies, politicians' threats and bullying, months of curfews and martial laws, is a clear evidence that they have failed. Yes. The fantastic scenes we are seeing now and we have, have been seeing in the country are clear evidence that the conspiracy is falling apart. Yeah. Falling apart. And I acknowledge there were big sacrifices. Hundreds of thousands have lost their jobs. Yeah. Billions of taxpayers' money wasted and hundreds of thousands or even millions were coerced into taking the experimental gene therapy that caused tens of thousands of serious side effects and hundreds of deaths so far. Yeah. Maybe these sacrifices were necessary in order to rock the, to rock the establishment and bring it down. I want to pay special tribute to our communities in Sydney southwestern suburbs who were subjected who were subjected to tyrannical orders and policies. These suburbs were subjected to the most vicious tyrannical measures our country has ever experienced. The authorities, media and politicians have targeted these suburbs because they knew that their residents were among the most vulnerable people in the state. They viciously targeted new migrants, refugees, asylum seekers, international students who were on a low or no income at all, and who were in no position to, the, to resist the evil and tyrannical orders. When the government enforced policies of no job, no job, many in these suburbs were forced to choose the dangerous experimental job as the alternative would have been financial ruin and the inability to put food on the table. As active members and community leaders, we hear many heartbreaking stories where students, asylum seekers and the new migrants were left with no support. Police and other authorities were hunting them down to prevent them from working using tyrannical, unscientific public health orders. These tyrants want, want us to believe that a virus can recognize invisible borders even between some one suburb to another. <laughs> Kelly Chant and Brad, Brad Hazard want to convince us that they are following the science. These tyrants who sit in our government were creating a divided society where it seemed the virus was in fact a racist one. Attacking only poor people from newly migrant communities in the western suburbs. Still to this day, this unique and scientific science is still part of the official narrative used by Kerry Chant and Brent Hazard. The virus attacks shoppers in Ikea and Kmart, but not the shoppers in Walworth or Bunnings. <laughs> the virus attacks and kills only residents in Melbourne, but not the residents in Queensland or, or, or WA. The complete censorship in our mainstream media has helped the Hawks prosper. Mainstream media has been active from the very beginning in spreading lies and myths about the virus and the vaccine.
vaccines. According to our media and authorities, I am selfish. I am white supremacist. Of course, I am anti-vax. Nearly forget about this. Anti-science, uneducated right-wing extremist conspiracy theories. Neo-Nazi. When the media calls a new migrant from Middle Eastern background like myself, with English as a second language, a white supremacist, we know the establishment is in trouble. When Kelly Chan calls other medical professionals ignorant, uneducated, and anti science, we know that, that they are in trouble. When Brad Hazard calls his community, call, accuses community activists who fight for the rights of his fellow citizens, selfish, we know they are in trouble. When all this happens, we need to know that the conspiracy is on its last legs. The evil ones have run out of lies. Together with the very few decent politicians and alternative media, we can bring this tyranny down by holding the line and spread the courage. This is the reason why the media is attacking us and why the media is attacking decent politicians like Craig Kelly and George Christensen. They fear their courage. Remember that courage is contagious. And at the next election, we need to send a message. Enough is enough. We need, we, we need a new political system and a new political landscape. Together, we can achieve this and defeat the evil of the great reset a new world order plan. Yeah. God bless yes. you. Sack them all. 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 Look at this guy's American. Let me try. Come here. This bloke is going to make you laugh. He's one of our, the freedom fighters. He's pretty hilarious. His name's Lachlan. I'll hand him over to you. You might have heard this song before. If you have, sing along. Yeah. You can show.